Hey everyone, it's Sean from Empire Drone. Today we are looking at the unique H520e. It was released late last year as the successor to the H520 with some subtle but major upgrades. Let's take a look. The H520e is built as a flexible drone platform for commercial applications like search and rescue, inspections, and firefighting. With its hexacopter layout and swappable payloads, it's a pretty great drone for anyone looking for a stable flight platform. So right off the bat, the H520e versus the H520. The E version has an increased transmission range of just over four miles. It has an updated ST16e remote controller and an optional RTK version and a few other minor updates. With the flight battery, it has a 25 minute flight time, six propellers, like I mentioned before, and folding landing gear to provide unobstructed 360 visuals. It also has built-in ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles and avoid collisions. The ST16E remote controller has a seven inch screen with a closed flight system. This design prevents all communication with third party servers and communication only happens between the drone, the payload, and the remote controller. This is a must for sensitive operations and secure mission data, and a big reason why many professionals choose the H520e platform. Current payloads include the E30Z zoom camera, which has a 30x zoom and a 6x digital zoom at 1080 resolution, and the E90, which we have right here, which sports a 20 megapixel, one inch CMOS sensor. Also available is the E10 dual thermal camera, which has up to a 640 resolution thermal capabilities and a large RGB sensor. We're also excited for the future RTK version, which will enable even more precise flight for inspection and mapping missions. So that was a quick look at the unique H520e, the latest iteration of the legendary H520 drone. Again, this platform is a great option for stable flight with swappable and capable payloads. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need a quote. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our website and subscribe to social media in the links below. We'll see you next time.